Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kegernaut, but just call me Keg, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Monk class mount. So yes, class mounts are finally available for the World of Warcraft. Um, we have finished the Legion Fall campaign, and if you don't know what that is, uh, you basically got to go talk to Khadgar in Dalaran, I believe it is. Start the uh, Broken Shore campaign, go ahead, breach the tomb, all that good stuff, and then you have like 15 or so quests to do in order to get all this stuff done. But basically, once you get the achievement called Breaching the Tomb, then you're going to have access to your class mount quest. So if you're a monk, you're going to be talking over to Yiska over here near the Mage Tower, and uh, it's going to give you a quest called Master Who. So the quest reads, Greetings, I've just received word that Master Boo has returned from a long spirit journey and is currently resting his feet at Morning Breeze Village outside of the Temple of Five Dawns. It's been quite a long time since anyone has seen or heard from him, but he's asking to speak to you. We will handle the situation here while you are absent, Grandmaster. And then the quest objectives is to meet Master Boo in Morning Breeze Village outside the Temple of Five Dawns. So that means that we've got to go use our Zen pilgrimage and get back to our class hall. So the cool thing about these class mounts, which everybody is really interested in, is one, not only because they're like really unique and awesome, right? Um, but the fact that there's also really, really cool, um, really, really cool animations that go when you try and summon them. So usually, you know, if we go outside real quick, if you can see when I'm trying to get onto my class mount, my, my not my class mount, but my, any regular mount, um, I like put my hands together and then all of a sudden this spawns out. Um, the class mounts are supposed to have unique animations to them, which uh, basically makes it a little bit more flavorful per class. So, like, warriors are going to do a battle cry, basically the same thing that they do when they taunt. Um, they're going to do a battle cry, just yell in the air, and then all of a sudden their mount's going to appear underneath them. And then the demon hunters are going to be jumping up into the air, slamming on the ground, and then uh, appearing on their mounts as well. And I'm pretty sure other classes have unique animations as well. Probably something like the DK would be uh, the mount, like, coming up from the ground underneath like bones and all that good stuff so that's something pretty interesting maybe the the rogue one comes out from smokes and then the uh the raven just appears out of nowhere so that's awesome and really cool some of the class mounts have different colors on them so i believe the death knights have like a a red green and blue variant of course because of all the different specs i know the the priests have like a holy one and a shadowy one so that's pretty nice as well so uh the monk one doesn't have anything interesting to go with it uh because you know the monk is just one class it doesn't really have much variance however there is a new pet that comes along with it so you get a pet if you are a uh if you are a monk. So let's go ahead. We find Master Boo. I thought he was going to be a tiger, I guess, but I, I mean, a panda. Okay. The tale of Banlu. Oh, hello. You must be a new grandmaster. Master Boo squints at you and sniffs. Uh, you young ones have no patience these days, always running off to fight your great battles. No time for stories, even good ones, eh? Why don't you put your fists down for a moment and allow an old man to tell you a tale? Maybe buy an old man a drink while you're at it. Listen to Master Boo's story. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So let's go ahead and listen to a story. One of the August Celestials had a son named Ban Lu. Over the centuries, Ban Lu served as the personal mount of each Grand Master. It was a duty he was honored to fulfill. But Ban Lu has not been seen since the Legion's attack on the Peak of Serenity. It seems the loss of life affected him deeply. Perhaps if we return there, we may find clues to his whereabouts. All right, so we got to go back to the Peak of Serenity, the the OG monk class hall, and probably go find Ban Lu. So we complete this quest and then says, Return to the Broken Peak. Awesome, that's a cool name. Uh, of course, there is no mere story. Ban Lu served as a personal mount of each previous Grandmaster, accompanying them through their travels as a faithful and trusted companion. But he has not revealed himself since you have become Grandmaster, and this is troubling. The last time he was seen was at the Peak of Serenity after the fall of the Grandmaster Height. All right, is there any... Uh, it is there that we must begin our search for him. All right, so let's go back to the Peak of Serenity. Let's go and... uh right on back oh floating mounts are not allowed here okay um do i have to walk back all the way maybe i can just find a different mount uh mount 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 oh no okay we're good to go we're good to go i, I don't know why that was like that but okay let's just go back over here so i assume we're just gonna have a, a walk over there so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the video uh to the point that we're gonna get to the peak of serenity 
All right, so we are in the Peak of Serenity now. Awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and meet Ben Lu. Well, maybe we got to find him first, but we're going to probably see some footprints or something. Oh, no, Master Master Boo's here. Okay. Uh, senseless loss of light and for what? Uh, Master Boo looks heavily at the portal and shakes his head. Why is the portal still here? Oh, no, it's closed, technically. Okay. Uh, the Trail of Ban Lu. It seems a lifetime ago that Grandmaster Height was walking these grounds. While Ban Lu has served every previous Grandmaster, he and Height were the greatest of friends. For many years, they traveled the land, connecting with its people and maintaining our fragile peace. I cannot imagine how deeply Ban Lu must have been affected by his passing. There must be some clues to his whereabouts around here. Look sharply. Okay, so we got to follow the Trail of Ban Lu. Any sign of where Ban Lu might be. So clearly, this is sign number one. Uh, so let's see. Oh, so we're getting a little bit of story with each uh, clue, I guess. That's pretty nice. Oh. Not really a story, I guess. I thought that maybe he was going to say things about Ban Lu's previous lives or whatever. So let's see where he's gone. These old bones aren't what they used to be. All right. We can go ahead, move up to the next part of this this here trail. Where did you go? Oh, wait there. <laughs> All right. Um. So this guy can uh, fly. You know, Ban Lu is a flying mount, obviously. So I'm pretty surprised that he just went ahead and walked everywhere. Um. Wait, why am I walking too? I guess I could just fly over here. There we go. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, Kun Lai runs some pet. Yo, this guy's just sliding down. That's so neat. I want to be able to do that. All right, well, let's go ahead and fly. I, I'm, I can't believe that I was talking about this guy can fly and then I wasn't using my own flying mount. Oh, well, I guess I went too far to the RP. The trail of Ban Lu, these old bones just need a little rest, but we appear to be one step further into our journey. The Grummel over there looks like he could use some assistance. Why don't you talk to him while I get some rest? Okay, all right. Alrighty, Grummels. Where is Ban Lu? Um, okay, this is an orange quest. I thought maybe this was like a yellow quest that I hadn't completed yet. Alright, so Smelly's Lucky Do. Uh, yes, uh, you, please help. Stupid Hosen stole Smelly Lucky Do. Now, Smelly always unlucky, just turned around and looked, pack is on fire. Oh, whatever. Okay, so let's just find Smelly's Lucky Do or whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and fly over here. Might have to, yeah, kill one of these dudes. Alright. Hosen, whatever. Um, oh, so probably like a lot of people are doing the thing here. Um, Dukia. Okay. Let's kill these guys. Oh, this guy's got like quite a lot of health. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked him first. Okay, so we found all the parts of Smelly's Lucky Do. We found all three parts, so hopefully we'll be able to complete this quest and be done with it. Uh, Smelly has a new idea. Leave his pack on fire. Nothing else bad happened while Pack on Fire. Pack of Fire is Smelly's new Lucky Do. You keep old one. Okay, so I guess we get to keep this. Luck plus five. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, the Shadow of Ban Lu. That was a good for you to assist the Smelly Mountaintop Grandmaster. And we have learned more about the fate of Ban Lu. I won't bother you with escorting me to Shadow Pen Monastery. I can manage on my own. Meet me there and we'll continue our search. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly over to the old Shadow Pan Monastery. And I'll meet you guys there when we get there. All right, Shadow Pan Monastery. Here we are, Master Boo. Let's talk to him again. Clean up the Isle of Sha. I've spoken with the Shadow Pan. They're willing to give us information if we can assist them with a task of their own. Speak with Commander Shen Li when you while you are assisting them. I shall continue to meditate. Okay, let's talk to the boy here and uh, see what's going on. Shen Li, how's it going? Greetings, Grandmaster Kaganod. It's nice of you to visit us. We're mostly focused on cleaning up the last remnants of the Shah in the area. If you could assist us with this task, perhaps we can help you with yours. What do you say? All right, I'm ready to clean up the Shah. Back to Miss Pandaria days. Here we go, boys. Okay, um... I guess we just kill these things? Doesn't sound too hard, honestly. Just walk around with the, uh... Rushing Jade Wynn and we should be good to go, really. Maybe if I could just use my statue, that should be good. Oh, they don't even aggro. Okay, well, 
This might take a while, boys, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip to after we're done with this. Obviously, you just have to kill the remnants of the Shah, and then you'll be done with the quest. Okay, so everything just completely disappears once you're done with the Shah stuff. Alright, that's not too bad. Okay. Now, we gotta fly over here again. Talk to Commander Shen Li. Shen Li. Alrighty. I've cleaned up the Shah, Shen Li. Thank you, Grandmaster Kaganoff, for your assistance. Unfortunately, Ban Lu is no longer here. I saw him heading south. But that is all I know. Okay, so south it is. Let's go. Tell me of your travels, Grandmaster. I have all right, the river to Ban Lu. We still do not know where Ban Lu has gone to, but I do know who might. To the southeast lives a Jinyu, water speaker Ryuli. Perhaps he has seen Ban Lu, or he can ask him to inquire with the river about where Ban Lu has been seen recently. All this travel has done a number of my old joints, Grandmaster. I shall rest here a bit longer, and then catch up with you later on. All right. On to the river. Well, where is it exactly? Oh, it's down here in the corner, isn't it? All right. I'll meet you guys in a second once we get over to uh, Binan Village. Okay, boys. We are here at the uh, the Binan Village. We got this little house here where the dude is speaking. Well, dude is communing with the water. All right. Lilies for Ryuli. I have not seen Ban Lu, but the waters will surely know where he is. There is a flower that grows in the lakes of the mountain slopes near the Temple of the White Tiger that only blooms in the presence of someone pure of heart. Bring me six of these moon lilies, and I shall use them to speak to the river. All right, so I will definitely say I haven't done any of the... Oh, my God, so much flying. Um, so much flying, my God. Okay, so I will say that I haven't done any of the other class mount quests so i don't know how exciting theirs might be but i'll definitely say that the monk one while it might be you know pretty thematic with the whole going back to pandaria and then talking to the white tiger dude and then talking to the fish speaker again you know and you know all these little monk things that you normally would do meditate and whatever um <laughs> it's not that exciting is it? it's just a lot of uh, fetch quests right a lot of fetch quests go ahead and follow the tracks here follow the tracks there i guess it's a little bit more of detective work i guess but um definitely not as exciting as maybe some of the others might be although again i haven't done any of the other ones so i don't know exactly uh what they do maybe they have just fetch quests as well although i imagine that something like the druid flight form is not something that you have to go find because well you just morph into it yourself so i mean maybe you have to find somebody who knows like how to f how to transform into that flight form but uh, i don't believe that's exactly what happens so either way let's go ahead and get these dusk lilies uh, not dusk lilies excuse me moon lilies we'll get these over with and uh, we should be good to go so best part about being a monk is the fact that you have zen flight and you could like pick up almost anything with zen flight another thing is that you could um fish with zen flight on so you never really have to be touching the ground so it's pretty awesome it's one of the little things that you don't really uh have to worry about as a monk just one of the little perks so let's just go ahead and finish getting our dusk lilies and then i imagine that we'd have to go talk back to the fish speaker dude and fly over there so i'll go ahead and skip the video ahead um if that's what happens All right, so we're back in the Banlu village talking to this dude. So we've got the six lilies, and let's see what he has to say. Uh, trial of Banlu. All right. Ah, the ripples I feel. The water is strong. The droplet does not fall far from our location. Awesome. Uh, Banlu is quite close. Uh, Ryuli closes his eyes and releases the lilies into the water. They drip. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we got to keep up with him. Uh, they drift slowly to the east. He waits for you now at the bottom of the waterfall to the east. Find Banlu at the bottom of the waterfall. Are you I mean... <laughs> Let's just look at the RP. He's probably just going to throw the stuff into the water. But I will say, like, is that really a real thing? Like, he threw the water lilies into the river, and then the river just is flowing downstream because of the waterfall. And then all of a sudden, that's supposed to mean something and say that uh, the dude is hiding at the end of the waterfall. I mean, I guess he was right, because this is going to be the end of the quest line anyway. But, like, the waterfall is right here, you know? Like, come on. That, that can't be a real thing. Oh, well. It is a, a little bit of fantasy, so I guess we have to suspend our disbelief a little bit. This is a perfect spot to just chill, you know? Alright, let's see where he is. Whoa! Hold up, hold up. Yo! Sorrow by the death of Grandmaster Hyde, I wandered Pandaria to reflect. 
But in the midst of that reflection, I saw something new and interesting appear. You. You have shown patience with Master Bu, honor with the Grummels, duty with the Shadow Pan, and faith with the Jin Yu. Faith. <laughs> it is clear you embody the wisdom, integrity, and tenacity of a Grand Master. Only one test remains. Prove to me that you can fight like a Grand Master. All right, that's pretty dope. I will say, I was not expecting him to transform into the, uh, into the mount exactly. Oh, he's okay. We're just gonna fight him in the water then. No biggie. Let's go ahead and uh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna switch the Windwalker to to just blow him up, but whatever. We are a Grandmaster Brewmaster, so this is the the only way to truly fight. We gotta just fight him this way. Piercing cry. That's gonna be some sort of fear or whatever. Alright, so we got two Miss Weavers and a Brewmaster working on this, so I imagine that hopefully I wouldn't die, but we'll see. Oh, he's really fast. Piercing Cry again, and oh, my interrupt didn't work on that one. Well, at least I was right, it was a fear, so. Well, not really a fear, that was more of a daze, but whatever. Impressive indeed, Grandmaster. I would be honored to serve you. <laughs> he's like swimming in the air. <laughs> of our order who came before let us return to the wandering all right aisle. let's go ahead and return to the wandering aisle boys and get our class mount so yeah it was a pretty interesting quest uh not that exciting but it was pretty cool i wasn't expecting the dude to transform into the tiger at the end like i said before but we also weren't expecting the uh the Torin ebonhorn looking dude uh to transform into the dragon at the end of the high mountain quest line so I guess uh, this game is constantly full of surprises, isn't it? So, oh, he couldn't just be in the front here. We have to, like, walk all the way to the end. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll definitely go ahead and, and stick together on the last leg of our journey. We got quite a while, but um, let's just use our glider just to speed, thing up, to speed things up just a little bit. Uh, I think, actually, maybe this is where we start off as a Pandaren monk. I remember this... I haven't been here since the beginning of Pandaria. Oh my god, it's been like, what, six years or something? No, yeah, I was close, I was close. I think the village is like right over there or something where we start off, so not too bad. Alright, Banlu, it will be my honor to carry you on the ceremonial path from this shrine to the temple as I have done for the Grandmasters before you. Alright, complete the quest, boy, let's go. Okay, cutscene, nice. I imagine there might be some music here, but I don't have the music turned on, so I'm sorry about that, boys. But this is pretty dope anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was some cool epic music there, but I don't play with the music on, so I'm sorry about that. Alright. Nice, nice. Okay, so we got our cool new mount. Let's go ahead and find Ban Lu and put it on our bars, because it is not official until he's on the bar. All right, he's on the bar finally. Okay, so oh, so when you dismiss him, he actually says farewell. That's pretty cool. Now, I did know that the uh, the mount was going to talk to you anyway. That's one of the things that makes this unique. Since it doesn't have any cool colors or anything, we get a pet and it talks to us. So let's go ahead and see what our new animation is. Yo. That's pretty dope. He, like, comes in on the winds. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we're. I guess this is just our new mount. Not too bad. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know, maybe if this is a bug or something, but we're a brewmaster, and we're literally riding on top of him with our mount, with our uh, our weapon out like this. Okay, let's let's actually put on one of our other mounts. Yeah, look, the Azure Strider is just... Nothing happens like that, but if we use our, our regular mount, Ban Lu... Awesome, that's another cool little spice... Oh, spice? No, I meant flavor. A cool little flavor thing for the monks, I guess. Maybe they have something similar for the... Um, Windwalker and stuff, uh, where they like hold out their weapons or something. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, boys, so that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed our quest. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you guys want to see some more stuff about monks and other tanks in the future, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought about the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.